Hello everybody, it's Sephiroth Level 4 for another weekly update. A uh, few things. First of all, um, videos this week should be normal. Um, and upload <laughs> and streams should be back on track. I'm sorry there were no streams last week. Uh, I said in the update last week that there was uh, I was having a pet scan and uh, a lot of anxiety builds up. Uh, before I get those, uh, the PET scan is fine, by the way, everything's good. I'm getting another one in October, I think. Um, or whenever four months away is. November? November. Before Thanksgiving, that's what it was. Um, so, yes, yeah, so everything's fine there. But uh, just a lot of anxiety builds up, and it's a long day in the hospital and everything, so I'm still recovering. It was on Thursday, and my back still hasn't recovered b from being... Uh, in the things like I had three hours of sleep the night before and then I had to get up at, at 5 and I got home at 3 45 or something p.m. so it's just it's a very long day um, very tired lots of lots of physical pain of just waiting around and anxiety and everything the test itself is, is easy <laughs> the, the the PET scan it's like 30 minutes or something but um, everything surrounding it is just anxiety, so uh, I don't do well with that. And um, uh, if you've seen like the, the weekly updates over the past couple weeks, it, it makes me anxious, depressed, paranoid, like the whole gamut of everything. It's something I can't control. Um, but yeah, so that's over and it's done and I'm feeling better. <laughs> um, still trying to work through everything else. But um, yeah, so last week we had... Um, Final Fantasy 7 and uh, uh, Trails in the Sky videos. Uh, there was some VODs of Night in the Woods that went up um, you know, from the stream from last October, since I never put that up. Uh, so those are going to be like, that's that's the, the series that I had for whenever I didn't have anything to, to put up on Saturdays, essentially. So, um, yeah. We'll see when the next time that's updated is. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I suggest checking him out or at least playing the game yourself because Night in the Woods is really fun. Um, so yeah, <laughs> this morning, uh, this morning I was woken up to my dad bursting into my room. It was like 9.45. I, I went to sleep at like 4 last night because I was playing Origami King, which we'll talk about at the end of this. Um, spoiler free. Uh, so I was, yeah, I had a very small amount to sleep once again. Um, my dad bursts in the room and says, uh, okay, so, uh, your mom, uh, fell and we think she broke her wrist. I need to take her to the doctor. She's selling a whole bunch of bunnies this morning and we need you to do it. So I'm just like, huh? Uh, so that was fun. Uh, so yeah, I'm actually recording this in between people <laughs> picking up rabbits. Uh, it's no contact or anything, it's it's all paid in full already, but like I have to get everything set up and I can't put the rabbit outside for them to pick up too early because it's the summer. So like, it's timing, it's all timing, so I have like a 20 minute window right now to record this. Um, so yeah, that was a fun morning. Um, other things, yeah, so Origami King did come out. It's, it's good stuff. Um, I got these pins because I ordered it through GameStop's website. Um, no, I did not pick it up at the store. I got it shipped to me. Uh, I also got a bunch of, um, long overdue art prints, um, shipped in. These aren't, this isn't all of them. I mean, this is, this is this year so far, this, this stack. This is 2020, uh, minus anything that I put up on my walls. But, um, I'm not gonna, again, it's not exhaustive, but like, like some of the stuff from, from, um, May... And uh, everything from June. There's lots and lots of June things. Um, I got a I got a, a larger print of, of this to put up because I really like how it came out. Um, Marina. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's, and um, half of July since I drew stuff since I ordered it. Um, so yeah, it's stuff from July uh, commission. Muscle, muscle girls. Um, another commission. I got a larger version of the the Raina thing that I put up down there. Uh, and I got a larger. Oh okay, yeah, and I uh, I got the the redo of the of the Chiaki um, 
which is up over there. I put it over the old one so that, you know, in case I want to just take a look and be like, hey, what's the difference? I just flip it up and down. But yeah, so that's that. Um, uh, let's see what else we got here. Um, there's always like, over the course of the week, I have like things that I want to talk about with like, you know, stuff going on. And then by the time Sunday comes around, I can never remember what I want to talk about. Um, yeah, um, as you've seen from the past few weeks, uh, I've been having like a lot of difficulty with, um, feelings of self, self-worth event, essentially. Um, and I've seen that also in a bunch of other people that I follow that I'm friends with. And, um, I don't know, I guess it's just that time of year, but, um, is something I did, I was thinking about that I want to talk about is, uh, uh, the idea of, um, uh, changing yourself to be more marketable. And that has a very wide range of, of interpretations, but, um, you know, something that, at, uh, you know, is applicable to a, a let's player is, um, you know, saying like, Hey, I have this style these are how I make videos because it's, that's my personality or whatever. Um, and you know, like my videos are, are more informal and less, <laughs> less informative. Um, usually, I don't know. I, I just, it's usually stream of consciousness. I don't have like a plan, especially if it's a blind let's play. Um, just kind of talk off the cuff. I sing a lot and like, that's, that's me. And, um, you know, it's obviously not the most popular thing. And, um, you know, sometimes I try to, uh, say like, okay, so like, this is how, you know, Chugga Conroy or H.C. Bailey or whomever else, uh, does it. And, uh, I want to try to, you know, emulate that kind of thing. And, you know, that started with the, um, you know, Final Fantasy VII Let's Play way back when, the original one, uh, when I was doing the intro, uh, like, cards and stuff and the outros. The outros I still keep because that's just good now because of... YouTube's card system, um, but it's definitely a lot less production value now, uh, but it's, uh, you know, like, the intros and stuff used to be modeled after, like, Josh Jepsen and all that, and it was a lot of work, and I don't know if people necessarily cared, um, but it was, you know, the, the concept was, like, hey, these people are, I guess they're doing something right, so let me try to do it, and, um, it ended up just being a lot of work, and, uh, while I enjoyed those, uh, series is, uh, for the, the filler in the middle of the episode, you know, I didn't feel like that what I was doing was myself. So over the years, you know, I just kind of moved back to where I was and, um, you know, the people that, that stuck around are the ones that like that style and, uh, the ones that didn't or whatever, that's fun. It's not everybody has to, has to like everything or have time for it or whatever. Um, but, uh, just, uh, you know, the idea of, like, you know, the people that, that watch you and the people that, that, that's, you know, interact with you are the ones that are there because it's you and not because you're a, uh, a Chuck a Conroy clone or, um, or, uh, you know, the next Markiplier or something, you know, which, you know, those people are cool and, and they have, uh, they have followings and, and styles and everything, but, um, you know, if you're going to change you know, what you're doing, it, it shouldn't be necessarily because, uh, someone is more popular that's doing it, but like, you know, an evolution of your style, you know, you don't have to necessarily not change, but, um, definitely evolution of your style. Um, and, uh, there's a lot of things like, you know, pick up catchphrases. I quote H.C. Bailey a lot. I know a lot of other people that do too. And it's very funny when you're watching someone and they're like, 10,000! And you're like, that's an H.C. Bailey quote. Or, uh, thunder! Or, like, any of those other things. It's a secret treasure! You know, like, all that. That's all H.C. Bailey. And, um, I picked it up just because I watch him a lot. But, um, <coughs> it's one of those things where you see someone doing it, someone else doing it, and you don't say, hey, he's copying H.C. Bailey. It's, hey, reference, I feel connected now. And, like, those are cool. But not if you're just, like, you know, straight up trying to copy the people, you know? Um, but yeah, so what I'm trying to say is that, um, I don't know, 
the people, I mean, I say this to myself a lot. That's I'm, I'm not necessarily talking to anybody. I'm talking to myself. Like, the people that, that watch you, the people that follow you, the people that interact with you, uh, they're doing it because they enjoy it. They do it for your personality. Like, that's the you that they're, they're looking at. Unless you put up a fake personality on the internet and that's something else that I'm just not going to deal with. I don't do that. I don't think I do that anyway. Because um, that would be a lot of work and then... You know, once that starts bleeding together, then you're just like, okay, so who the heck am I? And then, you know, uh, all of a sudden you're trying to find the reunion or something. You know, that's just a, a bad thing. But, um, you know, people watch you because it's your content, not because you seem like someone else. Uh, if they don't stick around because, you know, it's not something that they decide that's their thing, it's not a knock on you, it's just their their tastes. Um, I really enjoy the people that I watch on YouTube, um, because of the differences in their styles. Like, some people are more frenetic, some people are more chill, and I really need those chill people. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, like, not, not going around and yelling and, and, uh, having loud reactions, which again has its place, and I love, there's certain people that I just love watching that, but like, I, some people I watch specifically because I know that like, they're just gonna have like a laid back, chill, stream of consciousness type of video, and like, you know, that's the kind of stuff that I do, so like, I'm like, hey, yeah, this reminds me of me, and that's cool, but yeah, so that's, that's what I kind of wanted to talk about, and I'm sorry if that really didn't make sense. But uh, I'm just trying to say is, like, it's cool to not be big and loud and stuff because I, <laughs> I at least appreciate that, you know? Um, let's see, let's see. This hashtag, there was a hashtag going around earlier in the week that was about art that, like, three people responded to when I tried to, to get, like, a, a retweet train going, so... That didn't go well, but at least three people let me share their art with my followers. Um, mm -hmm. uh, Luka Jin's been doing a lot of art because she is stuck in, in bed rest, and that's awesome. I mean, not the bed rest isn't awesome, but the art is awesome, and I'm glad to see her doing more because she's so much better than me. Um, this is another com the conversation for another time about feelings of inadequacy when your friends are just so much better than you. Um, but then it makes it sound like you're ungrateful for the skills that you do have and for the people that do enjoy your art. And you know the end of that conversation is going to be, it really doesn't matter how good other people are at art as long as you're enjoying what you're doing, you know? That's where, that's what it all comes down to, which is why I draw things that I enjoy. <laughs> Um, speaking of things that I enjoy, one of the art <laughs> from this past week, um, was, uh, was Cloud. Um, so I wanted to, I wanted to draw, a uh, Cloud from, so this is based on a screenshot from my Final Fantasy VII Remake Let's Play. Like, I screenshot it directly from, from my recording. Um, but yeah, Cloud with his little bow and his, his, uh, uh, pigtails and all that, whatever they're called, um, the braids, there we go, that's a braid, good, do good dovey, but yeah, I just, I like, I like his hair, I just like how his, his face was, and he's just like, mm. um, cloud, cloud, cloud is just great, um, let's see, let's see, let's see, yeah, I've been feeling like, it's weird, like, some people, I'm just like, feel so much less connected to some people have been feeling more connected to and it just kind of you know looking like back it's there's just like a big old big old circle that seems to happen um if you you know if you're feeling like hey people don't like me anymore like that's just kind of how the way life works like it's not that they don't like you anymore so it's just like it's it's waves you know like people get distracted by this or you know their life gets a turn here but like it, it comes back it all comes back around you know the people that care anyway you just got to give them time um let's see yeah grant imahara of like mythbusters and other stuff um passed away this past week in an accident i was very sad to say he was 
seemed to be very beloved, but also he was just, he was a great personality on on the the work that he did. Um, let's see. Da, 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 da. I bought a game a little while ago called Four Two Eight Shibuya Scramble, which seems to be it was made by Spike Chunsoft, and it looks like it's kind of like a live action Danganronpa type of thing. Like it's it's like a visual novel that you play through. There are different endings. You know, it might it might be similar to the Nonary games in that way, but um, I really want to stream it or let's play it. I think I want to stream it, but that depends on people actually showing up. So like, hey, if you're still listening and if you want to see me play Four to Eight Shibuya Scramble, uh, let me know and I'll try to set up streams for it. I also really need to get start up the uh, Forge Up Fiesta at some point. Um, the timer is about to go off in a couple minutes, but that's okay. I think it's. I think I set it to be too early. Um, another thing that I was drawing this week. I wanted to, uh, after God knows how long, um, get get uh, started on a uh, Junko, uh, Junko Onoshima, um, from Danganronpa drawing because uh, I j sketched her a while ago. I don't know if I even sketched her actually. No. So two years ago, two years ago, two years ago, I was doing some Danganronpa characters on paper. Um, I drew Sonya, I drew uh, Chihiro, which eventually became uh, this this Chihiro picture when I made it uh, digital. Uh, the Sonya one is just a paper sketch still. I might I might work on that better because she was doing like the you know the. Uh, Rosie the Riveter, whatever, you know, we can do a type of pose. Um, but, uh, so, yeah, so I was asked by uh, my friend Raquel to, uh, to do, uh, to draw Junko, and, um, I never, t I was like, yeah, I'll get to it. Two years later, <laughs> uh, so I did, I did draw Junko, though. Uh, so her style here is kind of a mix of, of, two different things and not going into spoilers at all but um, I just I added a bunch of different components because I just wanted to draw something that was nice but uh, the way that I did this is I did like a base sketch of just how I wanted it to look you know based on you know that previous picture that I showed you uh, and then I just painted over all of it I didn't use any of the line work I just painted over the line work too so everything here is one layer um, on top of the line work with the line work not visible so like any lines that you see are just part of the the, the coloring essentially um, but I really 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 like how her hair came out also um, also freckles because I love I love her freckles but yeah you got like the little little uh, bunny head there and just her hair going all over the place and the tie and the bow and everything and I just I really like how this came out like it's one of those pictures I like yeah I think this came out great, and then like a couple days later, I'm like, yeah, I really like how this came out, uh, and it's important to like that. Um, so the style there of, of just the the solid painting was was based on the uh, Kyoko uh, that I did two years ago. Uh, that was the the basis for Raquel saying, hey, maybe you should do Junko at some point. So um, yeah. Uh, Told you, told you, two minutes. Um, there's a lot of weird memes going around about cake and that, like the the astronauts are like, wait, it's it's blank, and like the guy in the back with the gun just like always has been. Uh, and good combinations, but one of my favorites here, I'm, I'm not gonna show you because I'm not pulling it up on my phone, but like it's uh, the the two um, uh, the two astronauts are uh, Lloyd and Colette from Tales of Symphonia. Like, Lloyd's the one with the gun. The Earth just has a giant mug on it, and Colette's saying, Wait, it's hot? And just Lloyd just always has been. I just thought that was very funny. That's my favorite one so far. Um, yeah, some weird stuff going on this week. Um, also, the, uh, the creator of the Magic School Bus passed away, and I was very upset. Because uh, she was... Revolutionary. I loved that. Uh, Joanna Cole. There we go. I wrote it. I write these things down. Joanna Cole. So yeah, she. Her stuff is so amazing. Um, my friend Brian Icabagon, Brian Fraser, um, came home from the hospital finally. He's uh, been fighting uh, leukemia. So um, yeah, it's really nice to 
see him back. Um, and there was this thing going around like, hey, uh, go on Akinator, which is this like, you know, uh, 20 questions type of thing to figure out, you know, uh, you know, hey, I'm, I'm thinking of somebody and Akinator has to figure it out, you know, real or fake or whatever. So let's go on Akinator and, you know, fill it out like yourself, but just say that you're from Japan and fictional, uh, from Japanese anime and fictional. So I got L from... Death Note, and I don't know how to feel about that. Uh, oh, right. I didn't put that up. Okay. So another thing that I did, uh, which I didn't put in the Twitter moments here, I guess, was um, I drew Tifa with abs. The most important type of Tifa. Um, let's see. So I really, really like how this one came out, too. Um... Yeah, so this is up on my Dovey Roth art uh, Twitter. Also, I'm working on uh, an updated commission sheet. Um, not that commissions are going to open until after Patreon, but essentially, I, I take commissions in between uh, Patreon times. So, like, essentially, the last two weeks of, of each month. Uh, so, if you ever want to commission me, just DM me, and I'll tell you when a good time is to to ask me. But um, I'm working on an updated commission sheet so that, like, I'll have an updated commission sheet. <laughs> um, excuse me. Uh, and yeah, this was, this is getting long. Okay, so really, really quick. Uh, I also did a, a thing for Proton John. You can look that up on Twitter. Really quick, Paper Mario Origami King. Um, I beat the first chapter last night. Again, no, I'm not going to tell you spoilers, enemies, scenes, or anything. Um... This game, so far, after playing it for six hours, um, it's better than Color Splash and Sticker Star, 100%. Um, the music feels more like classic Paper Mario. Like, even from the title screen, it was just like, oh, they're they're cutting out a lot of the jazz that they just decided that, um, you know, they should put in every Mario game. I, I really don't like that from sticker star all the mario games whether they're like paper mario or not they just they were all jazz it's, it's like oops all jazz type of thing i don't hate jazz it's just i can't stand it being the like the only instrument like the only uh music genre in mario in paper mario but anyway um it's like the music it seems feels a lot more like the original slash thousand year door um the combat isn't really combat. It's essentially a puzzle, and if you do it right, then the battle ends. If you do it wrong, then you get hurt. Um, and the puzzle is getting the discs, like the the discs and everything together. Like the enemies start off with the formation, and then they get mixed up. And then if you get it right, you can take them all out in one turn, and you get a lot of coins. Um, the coins' purpose is to a augment your battles, augment the boss battles, which is more important and buy really expensive things everything in the game is is expensive um you get these like accessories which are like badges that let you do stuff that like you know let you know if there's a toad nearby because there's toads everywhere that you have to find they're all like folded up or in various places you have to hit everything um which it's actually kind of fun but also annoying because they're literally everywhere those are like oh that's a butterfly no toad uh there's a tree hit it toad falls out like that kind of thing so like the accessories are like hey um this will uh you know give you more hp in battle or this will let you uh do get less damage when you guard or you know this one will let you know when there's a toad nearby so those are like the badges and it's nice that they included that um i didn't get to any of the parts with any of the like temporary partner type characters so i don't know how that works yet uh, the boss battles are really interesting, because instead of you being in the middle of the bosses, and you have to, like, make a path and go, and some of the some of the times it's, it's not easy to figure out what's going on, so you need to use some coins uh, to have the toads give you, like, um, like, a little line that shows you, like, what the path you're making is. Um, and the bosses have gimmicks to them, but the gimmick isn't, like, you have to use this specific sticker, or else you're going to have a bad time. It's It's more like... All right, so you have to you know get around the boss from behind and attack him in that way, and then they'll they'll do something. So it's it's a puzzle. It's all it's all puzzles as opposed to like real battle. Um, but you still have to like guard and attack and do timed commands and stuff. 
Uh, but the big thing is that you have a dedicated attack and hammer button now. So you don't have to worry about using up stickers for that. Those attacks never run out and they're not weak. Your regular attack and your regular hammer will just mow down a wave of enemies. It's fine. Like, you're, you're good. Uh, the things that do run out are your powered up attacks. Iron boots for doing more damage and stomping on... Uh, uh, spiked enemies or like shiny versions of your stuff which is just more powerful but the same effect um, and so those things don't get used up immediately they have like weapon HP so you can use it like five times um, but also you can just buy them and reuse them I haven't like from getting to the boss of, of the first section like the big the first big boss of the game and there was another boss in the meantime which was cool but the first big boss in the game um, I got two sets of iron boots for free, um, and a shiny hammer and a shiny boots, uh, and I've used them a few times, but I haven't had to use them too much, uh, and I haven't used up any of them yet, so, like, they're very forgiving in that, it's not, it's not annoying like Sticker Star was, but if you don't want to bother with that or whatever, uh, you do have that dedicated attack button, so, like, it's not like you have to fear ever running out or anything. Um, the battles are, are easy to avoid for the most part, but they actually have a purpose because they give you coins, like a lot of coins, like hundreds of coins for, for actually winning. And also the enemies explode into confetti, which you use to like, you know, repair the environment and stuff. Um, so yeah, uh, the writing is fantastic. There have been a bunch of really silly, stupid moments that you're just like, okay. Um... And yeah, they're great. I love it. And I have to wrap up now. Um, but uh, yeah, so like the writing has been great. Uh, the music has actually been good, which is something I was very worried about because I just was not drawn in by the past two Paper Mario games. And here I'm like, do, 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 do. you know, like I'm getting into it because it's varied and it feels more like they're going back to the older styles of the music in, in, in that it's good. Um <laughs> The locations are very vibrant. Um, I wish Mario moved faster. Uh, again, the, the battles are pretty pointless. Again, but they're not as pointless. Um, and it doesn't feel like when you get into a battle, you're depleting your resources. Um, so you know the battles go pretty, pretty quickly because again, it's just it's they're all puzzles. Uh, and if you get the puzzle right, then then you win. If you get the puzzle wrong, then you then the battle takes longer. Um, and, uh, yeah, so I, honestly, I recommend, I recommend this game. If you weren't too crazy about the previous stuff, like, so far, it's been, it's been really good. Not, like, a great game. It would, I'd give it, like, an 8 so far, maybe? But that's a lot better than I felt. Like, I, at this point, I had already dropped Color Splash. I stuck with Sticker Star, because I didn't know better, and I, I got up to the final boss there, and then, and that's when I quit. Uh, because I didn't the final boss is stupid, but, like, the bosses don't have, like, a gimmick. It's just strategy. Um, and, uh, again, the writing has been fantastic. There have been a lot of weird and wacky things and, um, cutscenes. Um, but, yeah, so, like, I'm honestly, like, I'm, I'm excited to play this. Uh, but, yeah. So let me know if you've been playing it at all, or if you plan on playing it, but, um, yeah, I, I, I'm actually hopeful that this is going to be a good game after playing it for, like, six hours. Um, but yeah, so, you know, again, there are things that are missing from, from, you know, the older stuff, and I do understand that, but on its own, I, I think this is actually good, unlike Sticker Star. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much for watching. Um, thank you very much for being around. I appreciate you. I appreciate you being you. I really do. And uh, here's to better times, and uh, see you next week. Goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye.